And so the genesis of this film was obviously what we've been NBA doing. The NBA bubble. <laughs> it was the NBA. It really was. That's Come what on. it was. It really I, was I, I was taking these long walks on the beach with my friend yes. to just stay sane yes. every day. And one day I'm like, we should try to think of movies. Let's just think of movies every day. Yes. We'll, we'll, and not that we thought we would make them because everything was shut down. Right. And I said, there's something funny about this NBA bubble. Like, everyone's like, Stuck together, it must be pretty intense. And there was uh, the athlete who went to a funeral, and then he came back and got chicken wings at the strip club. Yes, that was Lou Williams, I believe, yes. the famed Lou Williams in Atlanta, right? He, yeah. Magic, Magic City, as, as one does yeah. when they go to a wedding, right? So I would say Lou Williams is the reason why we made this movie, because <laughs> that's really what it is about. It's just people cracking and yeah. testing the rules and and having a hard time continuing to do their job in the pandemic. So I thought maybe that's a play. You could do. What if you did a play and everyone in the play was seven feet tall? Yeah. Uh, and then I started hearing about you know Jurassic was was shooting yes. and they were dealing with Mission Impossible, and I thought well people like beating up on actors in movies. You can always make fun of them a little bit more. So it switched to that. And that's the bubble again. Uh, Judd Apatow here on the Rich Eisen Show in theaters uh, this Friday and on Netflix. I don't think April it's in 1st. theaters. I think it's just Netflix. Oh, okay. Except there are I some select theaters. I've been told there are select theaters. There are select theaters, but I think on April first. April first, not, not the week before. Okay. Like in 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 Los Angeles, the, the there's a theater in the Pacific Palisades. Okay. I think the They're Paris good. and New York. Yeah, but those are select. Those it's are built select. to watch in your underwear at home. Okay, good. <laughs> but, but, well, I mean, if we're all some of some people are still in their bubbles a little bit too. Jim, yeah, you mentally, know I mean? some people may never leave their bubble. Very good. And so the <laughs> NBA, you know, the NBA bubble was a wild yeah. construct because it's sure. in, it's in a theme park, right? Yes. It's in where normally people are coming from all around the world yeah. and just hanging out and their passport to fun. And now all these NBA players are. Yeah. are setting things up and the one and the rooms are not as luxurious as most of those guys are used to correct we, we didn't hear a lot about that but they were certainly people saying the tub isn't big enough they're not used to seeing the the uh, donald duck themed wallpaper exactly. in their hotel rooms <laughs> exactly. right or taking a monorail to work and wasn't know, there like, one guy who started videotaping all of it and then they shut him down shut you. <laughs> like yo don't talk about oh, what's yes. happening we here. don't talk it's like fight club we don't yes. talk about the bubble but yeah. the one aspect of of the bubble that you know we've been talking about on the show that uh, still lingers today is the NBA coaches use the bubble to get rid of wearing suits. They don't wear the coat. That's over. The suit's over. Are over. And it's never coming back. We ask yeah. every NBA coach that comes on here, like, what? What? they were like, we weren't bringing our suits. There was no dry cleaning, <laughs> yes. no shot. Now they dress like they're going to the gym. And, uh, and now you, you know? don't know who the coach is. You have no, zero. It could be just like I that. walk to go get a soda. You think I'm the coach. <laughs> <laughs> you should try calling a play at uh, crypto, whatever the heck exactly. they call it now. I don't like that they call it crypto. It's like Beanie ba Baby Arena. You know, it's like a pet rock arena. You don't want to be part of a fad <laughs> as the name of your arena. <laughs> <laughs> the Cabbage Patch Arena exactly. didn't age well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like Enron. Remember Enron was the That's arena. Right. Yeah. The Astros played in Enron for a good long while. Exactly. Let's get a little more solid with your business before you start naming the arena. The funny thing is around here, Judd Apatow here on the Rich Eisen Show, was the number of L.A. sports fans that looked mm -hmm. about the renaming of the arena as mm -hmm. if it was like a lost era, an era oh, I ending. miss Staples. They, you have no idea. Because you get used freaking. to anything. Whatever it is, like, you know, Shea Stadium. What was Shea? Well, that was... But what was the word Shea? I, I think it was named after, like, some guy who, yeah. you know, probably was tight with Robert Moses back yeah. in the day, just splitting yeah. up the city, you know, or whatever. And I, I still say Shea. Right. I can't help it, but I don't even know what it means, but it's just, it's in my heart. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.